This is Phil with Android Central, and this is the new LG V10. So forget what you think you know about dual displays on smartphones. Forget the failed attempts that have come before. This is the LG V10. It's a new product line for the Korean manufacturer with a number of new features and, yes, a secondary display that actually doesn't suck. So let's start from the beginning, and that is that the V line is a new range of products for LG, and it's going to be for those who want to go bigger, and in some ways, at least so far, better than what we've got in the G series. And to be clear, the G phones are going to stay around with a more manageable 5.5 inch range. V is going to be bigger. To that extent, we've got a 5.7 inch quad HD display in the V10, and attached to that, there's a secondary screen. Well, it's actually all really just one panel, but with two controllers, and it serves as an always on notification area for when the phone is resting, or it gives you quick access to apps and contacts and other features. And you know what? It's not horrible. It's actually easy to use, and the settings are pretty easy to figure out. The real question is how we'll feel about using it in the long term. Now next to that secondary display, you'll find two front-facing cameras, because if there's anything better than taking one kind of selfie, it's being able to take two kinds of selfies, or something. It's a 5 megapixel shooter with one of the lenses a standard 80 degree deal, and the other shooting at a wider 120 degrees. Couple that with LG's custom camera software, and you've got a new way of looking at and taking selfies. The V10 also is LG's first metal smartphone. It's using grade 316L stainless steel, not aluminum. It's calling it DuraGuard, and it's combining that with a silicone-based Dura skin. And that means you get a pretty strong frame and shock-absorbing rubber that should help with any accidental falls. It also gives a pretty good grip to the phone, which is good since it's also pretty big. Now the back of the phone is as intriguing as it is familiar. You've got the rear power and volume buttons that have kind of become LG's trademark, but more important is that there's now a fingerprint scanner built into the power button, so you can wake and unlock the phone at the same time, and it works really well back there. Software-wise, this phone is launching with Android 5.1.1 Lollipop, but LG says it hopes to get the Android 6.0 Marshmallow update out by the end of the year. There are also some new camera features this time around. Most notably is that you can have manual control over video recording, and note how the camera app makes smart use of the secondary display for all this. And you've got new video highlight features that are very akin to the Zoe's and highlights of old. And LG has made it really simple to share pictures and videos directly from the camera app. No more hunting for share buttons in the gallery. A few other specs of note, the V10 has a 3000 milliamp hour removable battery. It comes with 64 gigabytes of onboard storage. It takes micro SD and it's powered by a Snapdragon 808 processor with three gigabytes of RAM. So in a nutshell, we've got a newer, bigger, and in many ways better version of the LG smartphone. The secondary display has some real promise. The already excellent camera is getting even better, and now there's a rear fingerprint scanner in exactly the right spot. And yes, you can now double your selfie pleasure with the LG V10.